welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about something called the tree of success in sports psychology. The idea here is building a strong foundation for success in our athletic endeavors. And we use the analogy of a tree to help us understand what are the most important components to consider and to work on in order to find that success. And it might be a little counter to what we really think about when it comes to what makes us successful. Oftentimes what we look at is the things that we can see or the things we can see in others on the day of competition and the way that they perform. But what we're missing is all of the things that have to happen behind the scenes before we can get to those amazing feats of athletic accomplishment. And so we use the tree to sort of start from the ground up and we start there with the roots, really the foundation. And without a strong foundation, the rest of the tree is not going to be healthy. And the rest of our athletic performance is going to be hindered if we don't have that strong foundation set from the beginning. And so the roots really come down to the mentality and the mindset of the person and the team. So thinking about things like having goals ahead of time, having values, things that we are committed to, having a strong belief in ourselves and our ability to be successful. Without that, anything else that follows is probably not going to go very well. Also, when we're talking about team sports, there's the belief in the team. If the team is not strong, if the team doesn't depend on each other and fulfill the roles that are necessary for team success, no matter how talented they are, there's always going to be some problems that they run into over the course of the season. Emotional regulation is controlling those emotions in those challenging situations, not letting it overcome and get the best of them and hinder their performance. And the ability to stay focused for extended periods of time and keep your energy levels at the appropriate level that's going to keep the energy moving forward and success will follow. Without that strong competitive spirit, it's easy to get complacent and we stop seeing that forward progress of improvement. So we wanna start with those strong roots, that strong base, and then we can move up to the trunk. Again, needs to be really strong in order for the success that we see in competition to follow. So the trunk, the strong base, is what we refer to as the process. And this is really the training. This is where we see things like maximizing training time using the time that you get every single day to work on your craft and be as efficient as possible. Realizing that every minute you are working and your opponent isn't, you are getting better. And so really focusing in training on specific goals and specific areas you want to improve upon will make it a very productive, driven practice. And that attention to detail is what's going to move the bar ever so slightly higher and higher each day in order for you to improve your performance. Again, this is not what people are going to see when you're competing, but when you're putting in that work behind the scenes before anybody even sees what you can do, all of the drills and all of the time and effort and mental focus you put in is really gonna pay off in big dividends down the line. And then we get to the branches of the tree. Still need to be strong, but they're not as big and not as wide as the base and the roots. This is where we see the strength of the training. This is where we see things like ability, conditioning, mechanics, and fundamentals. If we don't have those attention to detail when we do them, we can still do them and we can still practice them over and over again. And you will, yes, probably still get better, but what's going to make a difference between being good and being great is having that attention to detail when you are working on those mechanics, when you are working on those fundamentals, when you are working on the things that actually make up whatever sport you're competing in. And the last thing that we see are the leaves. And these are going to be the pretty flashy, fun things that everybody sees in competition. When all the other parts of the tree are strong and healthy, this is what people see that looks so absolutely fantastic when a person is competing in an athletic endeavor. And so these are things like strategy. These are things like game plan. These are things like having the right equipment in your hand, having the right lane conditions or field conditions in order to be as successful as you can be. But you could have the most equipment in the world. You could have five different balls. You could have the world's best bat. But if you don't know how to swing it, and if you haven't spent all of the time and effort 
really narrowing in and zeroing in on what's going to make you so great. And if you don't have the mentality and the commitment and the dedication in order for that to happen, then those flashy pieces of, of equipment and those things that everybody else sees when you walk onto a field don't mean much unless everything else that comes before it is strong. So think about that as you train yourself. How can you build a strong foundation? How can you make sure that your mindset is right first? And then when you get into training, how can you make sure you are being as productive and efficient with your time as possible? Then when you work on all of the different things that go into your sport, you make sure that you're doing so in the best way possible that's going to lead to success on the court, on the field, or in the bowling alley. So this is the tree of success. Take a look and see what are some areas that you can improve upon, starting with the bottom before working your way to the top.